The base break leads for running back Terrence Wilson. Four touchdowns tonight. Just first though, how was the team's preparation coming into this first game? I mean, it's the first game. You're going to have a lot of mistakes, you know, but the offense line, we fought. The receivers, we fought. We all fought to get better. Come out second half, be a better team. Play hard, finish out. Second half, 3 2 of your four touchdowns. What sort of worked for you in the second half? Sorry? What worked for you in the second half? Uh, I mean, the offensive line, they stepped up, you know. They they wanted me, you know, so I trusted them and they trusted me, so we just did what we do. How important is it to get off to a good start, especially the season opening? It feels good, you know. Um, I know mean, we've been working hard, you know, ready for this, ready for this night, you know, but um, it, it feels good. Going into it next week, what do y'all need to improve upon? Uh, we just need to play harder, you know. Uh, we're playing a great team next week, you know. Uh, we just need to improve on blocking, you know, effort, everything, you know. Here with Coach Perry Woolbright, season opener. I guess some people look at the score and say it couldn't have gone better, but I guess what do you see? Um, yeah, you know, we got to win, and that was the most important thing. But, you know, we made some mistakes offensively yeah, that's going to happen in the first game. Uh, you know, defensively, anytime you get a shutout, it's a great job. So our defense played lights out all night long, two or three turnovers forced, and uh, that's what we got to have all, all defense all year. You know, offensively, uh, they did a great job in the first half. You know, they were putting eight, pe nine people in the box to stop Terrence, and they did a good job of that. We made some adjustments at halftime uh, to really counteract that, and we were able to su be successful in the second half. And, you know, big thing is uh, from the first game, we got to cut out some of the penalties we have. You know, we had some penalties in crucial situations that hurt us. Yes, also um, talk about the player Terrence in terms of what are your expectations going into the year for him? Um, you know, just like he did tonight. You know, he's our workhorse. You know, he, I don't know how many times he carried, but he had a lot of carries tonight. And uh, the big thing for him, you know, we talked about it at halftime and stuff like that. He wants that big play every time, and we want him to have it. But he's got to he's got to keep working just like he did tonight. He's going to get that three-yard run, that five-yard run, that four-yard run. And then they're going to start opening up because we're going to soften up that defense. And he's got the skills. The first time you don't go the right way, he can score any time. And that's what happened in the second half. You know, the first half they did a good job containing. He was getting short runs, was getting some. The second half, he was really able to explode because he stayed consistent and wore him down. And he's got to be just as strong in the first quarter and the fourth quarter. Well, next week you head to Fort Knox, Brooklyn, Casey. What type of game do you expect? Um, you know, a hard-fought game. You know, they do a coach Sharpie and them guys do a great job over there. Um, you know, they got a lights-out defense. You know, they got one probably the best uh, D lines in the state. Um, offensively, what they do, it makes you really play discipline and their uh, pistol flex bone stuff. And they got some running backs that are really good, run hard. Um, so, you know, our guys are going to have to really do good to be able to move the ball against their defense line. You know, they shut down Fairfield pretty good last week. I'm not sure how they did tonight, but I'm sure they did good. So we're going to have to contain their defense line next week.